So iOS 16.5.1 has just officially came out, which is pretty interesting because we were expecting another iOS 17 beta to actually come out. So I don't know when that one is actually going to be coming out, but within iOS 16.5.1, you can actually see that within this specific update, we're at coming from iOS 16.5, 282.2 megabytes. So not the biggest update of all time, fairly small, but fairly important, I would say, because you know this is an update that is going to be probably one of the more, I guess one of the last official updates from iOS 16 until we get over and rolled over to iOS 17. Now, of course, we're probably going to get 16.6, 16.7, but I don't know which ones are going to be coming out for the 14 and the iPhones supported on iOS 17. But you can see this update provides important security fixes and is recommended for all users. It also fixes an issue that prevents charging with the Lightning to USB 3 camera adapter. So I don't even... I don't even remember if there was a lightning to USB 3 camera adapter. I think what they're specifically talking about, is it the one where the camera would clip onto the MacBook and you could use like the camera of a MacBook for as a webcam from an iPhone, something like that? I don't know if that's exactly what they're referring to. But regardless, if you were having that issue, that should now be fixed. There is also going to be some other bug fixes and some other improvements that they're always going to have within these updates. So it's not like just this one specific change is what it is. There's probably going to be a lot more updates and changes within this update as well, which is really, really important. Now, to talk a little bit about the future of iOS 16, if we go and take a look at a map, right now it's June 21st when we're posting this video. So probably for the next week, I would probably say next week, we're probably going to get iOS 17, that beta. And if that is going to be awesome. I can't wait for that beta to come out. And then we're probably going to be, we're probably going to see another iOS 16 update in July and probably two iOS 17 beta updates. And then August, we're probably going to get probably one of the last versions of iOS 16. Maybe we'll get 16.6. I think that's in the beta. So that should be coming out probably around this time or maybe even in July. And then September is going to be iOS 17. So I would say as early as September 17th, that weekend, we could be getting the September event. It could also be later, but usually it's going to be here. Then iPhones are going to be coming out this month or this week. So there's still a lot of time for us to go ahead and get a pretty stable version of iOS 16. So as of right now, that is where we're at. I installed it. It was very basic to install. Pretty much no issues, no problems. I'm pretty sure we're not going to run into too many problems or issues within iOS 16, at least for the newer phones. But like I mentioned, if you're on iOS 16, you might as well go ahead and upgrade. It makes a lot of sense to go and start upgrading your devices now because if you don't, well, then that could probably cause some issues here and there. And you might want to be on the more recent version of iOS 16 than being on the, like the first version of iOS 17 when that officially comes out. So that pretty much covers it up. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.